And it's Hannes. Okay, so Hannes does get his match he wanted. You say that, but you gotta go. All right, so guys, see you next time. Uh, thanks for the game and uh, thanks for stopping by. See you soon, man. Um, so, Engineering Genius, and then take a look at the Leaders and Wonders. Payada even coming in to say one more. A little bit delayed, uh, but we're gonna count that one, Payada. Uh, somebody, I don't know who it was, told me that you betrayed me and watched the Goy stream and helped him versus me. So, I'm just gonna count uh, the Goy's win as a win for you, even if it doesn't show up in our statistics. But who keeps counting the statistics, right? And what did he do? Did he go for Colosseum? Nice. I'm gonna go Pyramids. And maybe Hammurabi. was amazing. I didn't quite ch catch that, like... Ah, oh, yeah, I didn't see his message in the chat. Alright, alright. Uh, yeah, he wrote in the chat, prepare for double and make it double. And prepare for trouble, make it double. Yeah, 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 now I get it, now I get it. So we got permits. We got the engineering genius, so maybe we can go with that. Um, the way that might be military action overkill, but I mean it's Hannes. You also beat Hannes in the meantime. Okay, okay. So you by both of you searched for a match, trying to find me, but found each other. What a beautiful story. I think we want that code. And then increase pop. Yeah. We had a watching DJP's to go and playing versus Hannes. And probably starting like the next big tournament or something. Or organizing the world championship. Okay, he's pushing twice. We get two developments out, a lot of science, which is great because now we can go for code next turn. So hey guys, if you uh, didn't, definitely check out my recent videos on YouTube. I covered a couple of the World Championship games. Sadly, I'm no longer part of that, but that gives me the freedom, like last year, to cover a lot of the great games where I'm not involved, where I can just watch, relax, and uh, show you guys some great matches. And there are some really good ones. Uh, I think the one that released today was really good. And I think the next one on Sunday is even better, so be prepared. Sunday is the next uh, video of the World Championship. You don't want to miss, uh, don't want to miss that one. Okay, pestilence. Nah, no, I don't want to push that. You know, if I get two rocks, I can finish the pyramids this time. Let's just do it. Religion, yeah, you can take that. So I'm afraid, and maybe I should take Zhishka. I think I should. I don't have a tactic, so that's the biggest problem. Oh, I can't finish. <laughs> I forgot that I had engineering. I can't just fin uh, finish the permits this time. All right, yeah, sure, then let's do that. Good that I caught that. Maybe the rich land. All the reserves. We have a lot of civil action, so let's go for the reserves. Piada always fixing the placements. Yeah, if, if you're good friends with Piada. Uh, like like me, with all of a sudden, uh, Piada, me, and Weidenbaum are in Masters uh, or Grandmasters in Intermezzo again. 
So you might, you guys uh, might get the pleasure of watching another video where me, Piata and Weidenbaum are doing commentary on the game all together. Like we did... I, I keep bringing... I keep not remembering, was it last year or one year before that? Let me check that really quickly. I think that was two years ago, where all three of us were in... in the... Grandmaster and the Intermezzo. It was a very fun video. I can't. Ah, there it is. Uh, 22 5th, 2020. I thought it was in the winter, but it apparently was in the summer. So one and a half years ago. Okay, okay. Um, I don't want to push into this. There's a lot of like, two breakthroughs. I'll take those. Um, then there is Universitas. And maybe in a rich land after all. I need some rocks. So I like that rich land more than the cultural heritage. How many times have you lost versus Hannes on stream? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Pro we played a lot. So I, if I had to guess, like a wild guess, I probably played against Hannes maybe 50, no, more than 50 times. And sometimes we played quite a lot of matches. He wins the developed here. Let's say we played 60 matches and maybe lost 20 of them, something like that. I think I have a relatively good statistic for this. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I imagine our Lemmings having an Excel uh, with uh, every match and having like filters. I think that would be dedication. Watching every stream and noting down every match and seeing the statistics. Okay, so that made I have no idea, Lemmings. I'm sorry, I have no idea. It was a wild guess, as I said. Uh, I don't really know. Okay, so we still don't have a tactic for Jeshka. He's not showing us one. That is a lot of games, but I think it might be true. Like back in the day, I streamed a lot, and Hannes was very active, and we played like often. We played like two matches on a stream versus him. Back when I did more than short streams, when I did like three to four hours every stream. So next time, maybe finishing the universitas would be good. Grab the knights. We start developing some things to get rid of the hand space. Bring swordsman two and one frugality. You're just wondering. Okay, I thought you knew the numbers. Uh, you don't have the numbers. Okay, then we can both just uh, just guess. So I think sixty games could be correct. Could be correct. Oh, he's gonna win the vast as well. Not gonna lie, that is a pretty good start for him. Two colonies and two very good colonies, vast and developed territory. As well as having the iron already, so he can upgrade those. And we still don't have a tactic. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with Zhishka. Especially going from Hammurabi to Zhishka. Six, uh, six games is cool. I mean, I can maybe take a look how many games we did on pulls, and then you probably had to add like a bunch more. Okay. 
Okay, so we want to finish the Universitas. Could develop the Swordsman. Definitely have to play some Rabi. Can't go for irrigation a bit of this. I could also go for irrigation instead. If I go for finishing this. No government. Um, I mean, we have a lot of civil actions already. I don't know what. I don't think we need monarchy. Can wait for an H2 government. Could deny monarchy, maybe. But I think now I actually want irrigation. Upgrade one this turn. We can upgrade another one this turn. And then maybe deny the monarchy or go for it ourselves. Yeah, you're right, Lemmings. We definitely have a good start as well. I'm so hungry. Hey, it ducks. Uh, I'm in style instead. Um, maybe next turn. I was too um, too far. Two, uh, three civil actions was too much to pay. He already has the first one, so we are guaranteed to get the next turn. Um, so I don't think we're gonna go for monarchy, but we're gonna go for iron upgrade one. So we will have food and rocks and science. Science is looking strong. Oh, Germans in top 16 of worlds, board games, they are still very strong, yeah. Sadly, I'm not one of them, but uh, who are they? Why? I'm, okay, I, I, I don't want to get spoiled, though. Uh, Biden Bomb definitely made it. And the rest I don't really know. I saw your post on the Discord. Um, but I'm not sure which other Germans made it. But yeah, now that we are going to have less and less players, we're down to 16, really, 16. I mean, I, I trust you, Payana, to know how many players we're down to, but I guess in the lower bracket only one advances, and then we got 8 plus 8 is 16, yeah. yeah it's crazy how, how fast that advanced, so it feels like. Alright, so let's go for that I and we talked about. Here we grab another growth. The Ben tactic with Zhishka? Is this the Ben tactic? <laughs> uh, or this one. This one is great with, uh, great with Zhishka as well. So, uh, no luck with the Zhishka. You get punished for grabbing Jishka without having a tactic. I think about 50 times every time. Okay, I'll show that. 50% of the times every time. I don't know. Call to arms. New tactic. No. We actually got a tactic with Jishka. Defensive army, we even fulfill that. I think though most strength events from H1 are gone. We okay, we got forays, raiders, crusades. There's also Nobel. I think we're gonna switch to him really quickly. This uh, works immediately. Yeah. Public. That's an early republic. Might as well just top tech defensive. Well, um, yeah. Luckily you didn't uh, jinx it. Uh, I imagine if you said so, uh, Vlada would have said, no, 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 we can't have that. But let's go for Nobel, we can. I mean, the thing is, the tactic right now isn't even what we really want. I think we're gonna... I don't even need that. So let's just go for Nobel. Six science production is nice. 
upgrade this. Upgrade an engineering genius. Makes us stronger already, so we don't really need to develop swords, we don't need to play the tactic. Alright, he has no wonder whatsoever. Yeah, true, he could even grab Ocean Liner next turn. Where's, uh, where's Ilya now when you need her? Um, yeah, architecture. I would like to have architecture. Thing is, then cannons will be gone. And we have the cannon tactic. So if he lets the cannon tactic go, if he doesn't grab it, and even if he grabs it, the next one might come out very, very late. So I don't... I guess that's not actually a reason he could just grab it anyway. Yeah, but if it's gone, it's unlikely that we get cannons ever. I think I want to do this. Conmon. Conmon is here, guys. I was starting to worry about our... Um, Despotism once again. Oh boy, even more science now. Now I really want that Conmon. And even getting a better draw, uh, tactic, mobile artillery, even better than that defensive. Let's hope that we get the cannon. Hope we, uh, hope we get the Conmon. He could deny the Conmon. He has Republic. Yeah, you will probably deny the Conmon. Which would be sad. That would be the correct move for him. Um, he could even go for Ocean Liner and deny the Conmon. Even though he might not even need the Ocean Liner. He has three population, another one he can immediately get. I mean, we don't know. Maybe Hannes has something else in store for us, but I would think um, that he will deny the common one, yeah. Or maybe not. No, he won't. He will go for the Ocean Liner, though, and goes for the cannon. Eight strength for him. So we have to open for an early next cannon. Okay, Conmon. Strategy, yes. Knight. Upgrade one more mine. I think the wave. I think this is a very strong turn. We get the strategy for next turn. Taking all his military ambitions. Kind of weak. He has no military actions. Because he has... Republic. Like, this is really rough for him. Sure, I, at the moment he has three military actions, but only because of Joan of Arc. He's not strong enough to punish us anytime soon if we have strategy. Yeah, this is... This went really well for us. I think he should have denied Pormon. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely a good beer. Coming back to the beer thing. Um, if you're ever in Germany, definitely try definitely try some of the Bavaria beers. Approved. Gets the DJ Parson approval. So he's got the architecture, but he has no science. He could finish this ocean liner, so he will have more population. But where does the population go? He already has two floating population. He will have three and every turn. Sure, at some point um, he will have enough rocks to put the population to some use. But even this turn he can't finish the... If he finishes the ocean line he's down to zero rocks. So he can't even build like a third philosophy. That At some point that will be very very good. I'm not sure why he went for two cannons last time. Maybe he has fortifications. 
maybe he hopes to go for military play. Um, but at the moment it just seems rough to pull off. Really, really rough. With the few military actions, with us having the strategy and the science to go for it. Right, of fortifications, Pop doesn't want to show it. Yeah, probably. Like, this would be a weird move to build two cannons last turn if he doesn't have fortifications. Oh, he even goes for the wall. So he will show the fortifications. Goes for 14 strength with... Uh, 15 strength with, uh, with Joan of Arc. Please give us cannon. No cannon, okay. We're now coming to Prague for the best Pilsen RB in the world. Hmm, sounds like a good idea. Um, Czechia is very good. I, I, so I've heard about their beer. So I've always wanted to come to, uh, to Prague and visit you guys. Now that I have added you on, uh, on Strava, Payada, um, I can even see the nice, uh, the nice uh, running routes in Prague. So it's still on my bucket list. So uh, yeah, would be very cool. Let's see how, uh, if we can make that work. And also, let's see how we can make this turn any good. Okay, so team sports would have been very good for us. Sadly, we didn't get it. Could go for organized religion to help us with heavy faces. Or something like two knights. Oh, we can even win this war. Ah, poor Hannes. Can go conquistadors, but that's an awful tactic. Yeah, but we're just building knights. I even consider if it's not worth building the last knight. We steal two science. That actually is worth quite a bit. Let's just go for all the knights. Saltman instead of temple. Hey, we could win this war big. But then we would have destroy have to destroy so much. And we steal all the uh, no, 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 no. I think organized religion is really good here. And two knights. Two knights. Three knights. Win this war. Wait. Play this tactic. Yeah. I only want to be able to drink more beer and stay slim. Same for me, man. Same for me. Uh, if you drink a lot of beer and don't run, you become, well, unfit and fat. So, uh, running and drinking beer, that's the dream. So, uh, Hannes. Kind of backfired on him, that war of his. It's awesome, yeah, this was a really good turn of events for us. Him going and investing everything into his military. Um, not finishing Oceaniner last turn, building three religions. And are still winning the war. Yeah, very good, very good. We got it generally in Prague during June. Huh? Next June is a long time, but uh, yeah, generally. I don't know, when do Czechians do their holidays? It's always a big question, right? When is the main holiday season? July and August. There's the answer, guys. Czechians do their holidays during July and August. 
which is I guess normal for like Europeans living in Central Europe. Okay, so we can push now. Maybe push an international. Rebellion doesn't do much. Still have this engineering genius. I could go for sewers, but don't really see the point. Go for some science production. Some more science production, that is. Breakthrough, upgrade, reserves. He's outrunning us in culture, but we are outproducing him in science by quite a lot. And he's down to two science. Yeah. It's gonna take a long time for him to get any science going. We even end the age, so he will lose all of his age one techs, which isn't, isn't actually good for us. Maybe, maybe we don't even want that. We don't want to end the age. Yeah, that's actually it. So grab reserves and frugality. So he doesn't draw age three cards, and he has to keep all of these cards in hand, which he can't develop. So his hand is almost full. Why pop? Um, no real reason. But nothing else to do with the civil actions, I guess. I think I, I like this. Every year there's a big chess festival in Prague in June. Mm, so you're still doing that. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. He has two temples. That means he will have travel soon. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, once Jonas gone he will lose three culture uh, three strength and I mean he has the population to not have any issue with all the religions so yeah yeah There are the cannons indeed. Okay. He... Oh. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, guys. Um, I should have been at the age. I didn't realize he could go for Gaudium and still research these. I thought he wasn't able to do that. Whoops. Whoops. So he's now to 10 culture production. I guess we have a war that we should use. All the territory, go for cannons. Just put everything into military. Three, nine. I think we have to punish him now. He can't go for two cannons. So we're gonna steal some yellow cubes, which is gonna be really good for us and very bad for him. Grab one patriotism. Maybe next turn we can go for Einstein and some, uh, some Nobel Prizes. But I think I like the war of this turn. Try to punish him when he went for all that culture. And he's not able to go for two more cannons. And even if he gets rocks for another pair of cannons that's 11 strength, we're still gonna win. Biggest problem is that we don't draw any H3 cards. Bill Gates is also a contender for our new leader. Even though we can't build another scientific method. There is new deposits. Okay, okay. Well done by him. Are we in trouble in this game? I thought it was looking very, very good. Um... But now I'm starting to worry a little bit. I'm sure he has no military action still. Doesn't have good science production. Has to worry about the war going on. If he spends his rocks on cannons, he can't finish the Kremlin. But he has culture. Cannons it is. 
and five. So we're only gonna steal one. Which isn't that much. Don't know if that was worth it. At least we can still push. Here's some colonies, so we play independence of uh, independence declaration. Political strength, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, and we could go for Einstein. Einstein and Nobel Prizes. We can even start with a Nobel Prize this turn. Start getting some culture as well. I guess I won't have enough rocks to maybe build another opera next turn, even though I don't have that much food at the moment. But 28 seems alright. Grab the air forces. Maybe a cheap tech. Hmm. I, yeah, I guess just any any other technology. Like the cheapest one is journalism that gives Nobel Prize and culture from uh, from Einstein. But of technology is very very impactful. So actually, maybe I don't want the journalism. I want the rockets. In general, do I want to spend all of my science this turn on things that are not H three technologies? I guess I want the opera, and there's no other H3 tech, so it's oh yeah, let's get the Nobel Prize. I have to go around the toilet really quickly. Finish the Kremlin, I see. Ocean liner, okay. Militia build up reserves just grabs a lot of cards. Okay, okay. But I'm not really afraid of that because he only has two MAs. Um, so I'm of tech, some three science production. Do we want the tech in the deck already? I mean, this food production looks trash, so I guess you could go for a bit of balance. A bit of agriculture. Both of them seem fine. Let's go for agriculture. He loses a colony, which makes it. Yeah, he loses a yellow cube. Just one, but still gives him some issues with uh, with his wood production and his ocean line, of course. You can get out of corruption by upgrading two cavalrymen. Oil seems interesting, yeah, but we can't go for this turn, sadly, so... And then it might be too late, I don't know. We could grab a wonder this turn. Yeah, internet and Hollywood are bad for us, so fast food, maybe. Or UN, maybe fast food. Doman, definitely. Then the efficient upgrade. And then... 
I guess tanks are cheap tech. And we could play the patriotism to upgrade all three and get our corruption. And grab endowment, fast food, mission, and tanks. Could also grab the urban growth and then no tanks or something like that. What is if we want to grab these? An endowment and no efficient. Hey, are we really gonna go for oil? Thing is, next turn I probably don't want to develop anything either because of the Nobel Prize. An efficient is nice. Would be nice to have. Maybe it's the same as urban growth, and then I spent just two more selections on it. So maybe the patriotism thing wasn't all that bad. And also having tanks in hand. Yeah. Picture is all right. Yeah, there's military theory, he gets that. And he has exactly the science for it. So maybe, maybe that's, that's bad for us. I guess it probably is. First, he has to lose a, uh, lose a colony, which is probably or definitely going to be the developed territory. Um, and I think this input of agriculture is very good for us. We will increase population one more time. I guess we have that frugality, but yeah. Finishes Kremlin, grabs Air Force, um, growth military theory. Push technology now or the architecture. Even though he has urban growth, so maybe just push the input of tech. And you can actually steal science, that is worth a lot. I think oil is too late, probably we don't have input of uh, industry. What we can go for is computers. With the efficient upgrade and then one more tech like these satellites hey jingus nice to see you go for the satellites mm. next turn might be our last right three Four cards, so five left. He could end the age. So if we are not ready for finishing the fast food, he might just end it. So if I build another theater, he could just do it. Go to see my stream again. Yeah, it's been a while. I haven't been too active in the last couple of uh, months, but trying to keep it up a little bit again. And running into positions like this. I'm not sure. I guess I could just not go for satellites, tanks instead, or some or rockets. Start. I still have corruption, but only food. But I still need that food. So we get the Nobel Prize. We don't grab cards. Do we actually wanna end the game? I guess his internet isn't too shabby and the Hollywood is okay. Even Danny ordered stream a few days, uh, days ago. Okay. But Splinter is not back, right? Don't use Regality. True, that means no corrupt. Or no. oh, maybe not use the efficient. But that doesn't leave me enough rocks to finish. I guess I could. 
build one stage. This actually seems all right. And then go for the satellites plan, develop that. If you haven't paid your rocks, can you finish fast food? Uh, no, right? We have 12 rocks, so yeah, not enough. That is interesting to think about if we make him pay rocks instead. I think it's still better to go with the science. I think this is alright, this play. 12 science next one. So if he ends, we only get one more technology. If he doesn't, we get two more and one more Nobel Prize. I don't, oh, we don't have much time. I don't think these aggressions are gonna be too good. I don't think we can use them. Yeah, tricky turn. Very, very tricky turn. Splinty has had a lot of practice in stopping with streaming. It seems that like it's finally worked. Yeah, that's true. He always uh, flipped back and forth, uh, flipped back and forth a little bit. Uh, but yeah, sad to see that he finally succeeded in stopping to stream. I think the big question for Hannes now is if he's gonna end the game or not. Cool PR, yes, and we don't have a cool cool PR here. Jingles. But yeah, would be would be nice. By the way, Jingles, do you remember this glass? Yeah, just had a nice little bit of a little bit of Good beers, all of it. All right, so Hannes um, does have enough for military theory. He will, I guess he can develop the multimedia and then he even gets another tech. Yeah, this Gaudi is actually really good for him. Makes all of these H3 techs so cheap. He doesn't have any impacts in there, we're still stronger. There's no way he can go for war. We would be ready for that. I think, I mean, two cannons is 16 strength, so 50. Could he beat that? Like, you could declare the war, go for military theory and military build up. Build two cannons, no, he's just gonna go for the internet. So we did end the age. Last impact we want to play balance, happiness, nope. Architecture. I guess it's gonna be architecture. Here's urban growths. Uh, and all of this because not ending the age. Yeah, that was a huge factor after all bigger than I ever imagined. So we can't do that much this turn. And he has rocks enough to finish the internet and two urban growths and reserves. So he gets quite a bit more from his internet than 10. But he's not gonna upgrade his boot by that much. So I think we can push balance. You think architecture? I think balance. Or is he gonna build another farm? Yeah, I guess he's gonna build another farm. Or he might use reserves for food. But do we get new we do get new reserve turn, right? Um What are we gonna do? We're gonna finish this. Domant. That's basically it. So I think his architecture is going to be better 
after this. 74 is not that much. She's going to get more. National Pride. Oh, man. Shouldn't have pushed at all, I guess. Shouldn't have pushed at all. Ouch, indeed. Ouch, indeed. 94. Yeah. I think this will be hard to win. I mean, there's no impact in there at all. But still. Nine to 89 plus 7 plus yeah he's gonna elect Fleming that's gonna give him two more doesn't have the science to go for multimedia it's raw about food so unrest okay both of us losing for culture here doesn't change too much got the wrong order uh, in what way like endowment did give me culture I did save civil actions on the fast food. I don't think there was much of relevance to any uh, order. Yeah, I don't. Couldn't have gotten the fast food chains higher with endowment. Oh yeah, we, we got the endowment. Um, so we got the six culture. Yeah, it would have been really uh, messed up. Not, not like that, that couldn't happen to me. Like in the last game, I almost did it wrong. Can happen, can happen. So I'm not going to do the math. Like you guys, uh, if you want. Fleming is gonna give him two more plus increase pop. He has to worry about food, maybe play the reserves for that and then build another pair or something. Two dramas, yeah, finish the internet for that. 16, 13 production. Oh, he's gonna, he's put in strength, okay. It's 117. Balance is four to eight. Technology is 4 to 12. Agriculture is 3 to 8. He almost got him, but then he got his impact, of course. Oh no, strength. Relatively close, or really, really close. Uh, yeah, well played, Hannes. Uh, I thought we had you in H2, but then I think I made a mistake in not ending the age, giving you the option to develop printing press and drama. With Gaudi, I thought you were you were stuck with all the H1 cards in your hand, but you were able to develop them thanks to Gaudi. Um, so yeah, well played, well played, and congrats to you. Let's complete this. Not too bad. We are in silver A now. Um, this will be the last match today. We can take a quick look at Hannes, how many... One page. So we didn't play that much on pulls, but I think before there ever was pulls, we played quite a lot. So uh, Lemmings at some point asked how many matches we've played. And I thought like 60, Hannes, but uh, yeah. All right. So yeah, thanks, you, thanks guys uh, very much for watching. Had a lot of fun. Um, three games even. Three games. Um, and two beers, <laughs> not bad, not a bad statistic. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys had a f had fun watching this. I uh, will uh, try to stream again soon. Can't promise anything, but we will see. So yeah, have a nice uh, Friday evening. See you guys next time, and uh, yeah, have a good one.